Taiwan on Tuesday reported 35,914 local COVID cases and 103 COVID-related deaths. With epidemic conditions generally improving, Health Minister Chen Shizhong was asked if quarantines for arriving passengers could be dropped in favor of a week of self-monitoring of health conditions. Chen remained relatively reserved on the issue. We feel the risk is still too high to completely drop the mandatory quarantine. I think we still need to keep an eye on the situation. In the U.S. and Europe, they are seeing a roughly 20 percent increase in cases, mostly driven by the BA5 subvariant. So with this risk still present, I think we still need to keep a bit of an eye on it. Right now, we are still reporting around 30,000 cases per day. When South Korea announced a lifting of restrictions, their daily case count was comparatively lower. So I think we need to get to a lower number of cases, but it's hard to say what that number should be. Because traveling abroad is still difficult, domestic travel remains the best option for most. The Transportation Ministry hopes to spur on travel during the hot summer season with subsidies. Starting July 15th, travelers can get subsidies of up to 1,300 NT per night while using qualified accommodations.